Hey guys, my name's Dale, and you're watching The Factoid. <laughs> 160 characters. It doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Being that most of us have probably been on a cell phone and have texted someone, we probably come to realize that 160 characters can sometimes not be enough. But most of us have probably wondered at some point, why 160 characters? Even Twitter has 160 characters. No it doesn't, it has 140. Well kind, sir. They save 20 characters for your name, meaning that overall there is technically 160 characters. But if you think about it, that is such a random number. But there is a reason behind it. So let's get started. Back in 19... 1985, yes, 1985, text messages. And in the country of West Germany, which would later become Germany as a whole, were the ones who actually came up with the foundation that would later become the 60 character text message. So well done, Germany. A company of the name ETSI, which if you're from Europe, you probably have heard of it, was trying to influence the new standard of what would become the next generation of mobile communications. And at the time, that would have been 2G. Most of you probably heard 3G and 4G, and maybe logically that means there was a 1G, and there was actually a 0G as well. 0G being radio phones. Kind of basic. And not much better was 1G, which was basically really crappy quality cell phone calls. The whole world actually moved forward into the era of the 2G, and I did so with a sub-company that they made called GSM, or the Global System of Mobile Communications. They were tasked with trying to find a reasonable amount of characters that they could fit within a message that could be sent wirelessly. The problem was is the amount of information that could be sent through a tower was extremely limited. Being so, the max amount of characters at the time, when they first started, they could send through the towers was 128. And I thought 160 was random. But a brilliant German of the name Frieden Hillebrandt challenged this. And thank goodness he did. Because could you imagine if 128 characters was a standard? That would stink. He himself was a major influential key within the company GSM. Being that his title was... Now hold on, this is long, long title. He was the chairman of the non-voice services committee within the global system for mobile communications. Say that ten times fast, I dare ya. No, no, really, really, I dare you. Try it. So as you can see, he was rather influential. So what he did is he challenged himself to find what was a reasonable number. He would look at postcards, which roughly had under 160 letters, so there's a start. And this dinosaur called the Telex Machine was another way that people were able to communicate by sending messages to each other. And he also found that they didn't have messages that exceeded 160 characters on average either. And there wasn't even a limit on them. And then while he was working on a typewriter, and yes, we're in that era where typewriters were quite prevalent, he was trying to make questions and comments, trying to see what would be the average amount of characters that each individual thought would take up. And he also found that on average, most of them were actually under 160 characters. So when he approached the committee trying to state that 160 characters was the way to go, he they, the people were kind of set back. Because they had to try to find a way to get 160 characters to fit in a, a space that could literally only carry 128 characters. So what did they do? Something we all must do when we're faced with the task of needing more space. You get rid of stuff you don't need. And that's exactly what they did. They found that they could actually save space on the amount of information that was being sent through by removing symbols that people simply didn't need in a simple text message. And they did remove quite a few. But by removing all those, the system wasn't required to understand as many symbols, simplifying it, and essentially allowing more characters overall to be placed into each individual message. But in the end, Hillebrandt fought and managed to get 160 characters. And since they released and promoted this standard, they have gone on to control 80% of the market share of this standard. Being that most companies that work with using SMS are going through the standard that was invented by this company. But even though today we don't need it as much, being the fact that we send pictures that are bigger than text messages, it has become a great standard for companies to use in order to place prices on the amount of text messages that are sent, and so on and so forth. And being that this idea, this concept is so widely understood, Twitter then took it on. Which is probably genius because it makes it much harder for naggy, stupid people to write stupid crap. Even though they sometimes manage to do it, it's much more fun to watch them struggle. Ah, <laughs> stupid people. But even Hillebrand himself said that he felt that the number was completely sufficient. But what he did will impact the world probably for generations to come, which is an unbelievable thought. 
And one thing that we can do is we can thank Germany for fighting the standard. Fighting what we all thought was going to be the limit at 128, but they pushed for 160. And even though that, that still sounds pretty minuscule overall, at that time that was something big. So my question for you guys is, is, would you personally do away with the limits that they have on a text message? Being that each individual text message, when you send it, that's it. I personally think I would increase the number to maybe 200 characters for text. Only because I tend to not like the text and having more space to text when I do write, because when I do write a text it's big, um, it would be nice. But don't let my opinion influence you. What, what do you think? Do you think it should stay the same? Do you think they should just do away with it entirely? What do you think? And with that said, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I'd also like to thank a thousand plus subscribers. That is unbelievable to me. It means so much to me that people want to be a part of the videos that I make. And that I just, I can't even believe how awesome that is. So thank you. I, I am completely humbled by all of you. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. I'll try to get back to everybody, and I love to talk to people. I like to see what people are thinking. If you got opinions, anything, let me know. How's your grandma doing? How is your grandma doing? Tell me how your grandma's doing. Because everyone's opinion matters in my book. So once again, thank you guys for watching. My name's Dale. You're watching The Factoid. And remember, never stop learning. Thank you.